Hi, my name is Andy Sandham. So today we're going to have a quick look at creating a novice puzzle in the uh, Perpetual Testing Initiative where you get to create your own chambers. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just have a quick run through of some of the controls. So as you can see, we've got the controls listed down here. Uh, so if you hold down shift and left mouse button, you can spin it. If you roll your mouse wheel, um, uh, then it zooms in and out. Uh, you can hold the right mouse button uh, and it will drag it around. So these are all the tools you've got. So obviously it's a novice test chamber, so we don't want to go too crazy. You've got your paints, uh, you've got your lasers, um, you have got your light bridges, you've got your uh, teleporters, that's not a teleporter, it's a tractor beam, but you've got your springboards. Um, so let's just go for the simplest thing we can, which is creating a introduction to the pressure pad and test cube. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make this room a little bit smaller because it's too big at the minute. You're always going to have an in and out, that's your exit, this is your entry point and you'll always have an observation window so you can't get rid of those. So let's just drag, so just drag these up like so and then I've reduced the size of the room probably too much um, so what I want to do is I want to uh, put a, uh, a simple pressure switch down here and so if you just uh, let me just straighten that up so if we just right click on that we can connect that to gives you a line a very simple and effective editor uh, and so the one thing we always do want to do is make sure you can see your exit unless it's a particularly complex puzzle in which you do it in stages which we'll talk about uh, in a couple of weeks but so what I want to do here is just to make it a little bit more exciting for the player what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hide a switch it's not always great hiding things but I'm quite used to doing that in my design um, so we're going to put we're going to have to put a puzzle cube in here so um, we need something to activate the puzzle cube so what I'm going to do is put the, drop the puzzle cube in and when the puzzle cube comes in it also comes in with uh, a dispenser and this is because you always uh, because of the simple rules of game design you're going to need this to get out of the test chamber so consequently it needs to be spawned into the scene if you somehow manage to destroy it so there's always one present in the scene but in this case it will start with without auto dropping the first the first cube. Interestingly it does give you an option to not respawn the cube which means you could get trapped in the chamber for eternity. Not good. Okay so uh, what I want to do as well is when you're creating novice chambers it's frequently common well common practice that we make the walls non portable so it reduces the options available for the player so it makes it a little bit less confusing for your novice player. So let me have a quick look up here. Let's add a button. So we can effectively hide this button, and I'll show you why. Um, again, it's not particularly good practice to hide things, but um, the reason we can hide this button is that if I go connect to connect it to the dropper, uh, you can see that we've got these um, uh, ant lines. Is that they called? Um, that show the link to what it's going to activate. So you're going to look at the roof and think, all oh, right, there's something up there. So anyway, let's make this wall. Oh, let's make. Whoops, it is. I've just gone and uh, let's try and undo that. There we are. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that um, uh, portable. So that should really be it. So we know this opens this because of the ant lines. Uh, we come in this door. We think, right, how do I get? this to activate and drop a cube we might be able to see this we're going to find out now because I'm going to test it and have a look okay very exciting I'm on tenter hooks as they say sometime today <laughs> Okay, so 
And we've, we've immediately got a little bit of a problem here in that not only the volume that you can't hear me, but you can't really see that supportable surface. But it's a little bit more difficult than I'd like for a novice, but I mean, it's doable. Okay, press that. Bingo, happy days. Oh, and there we are. That's a little simple novice test chamber. 